Main Gwen. That's a fun deck. I have no idea if it works right now though with all the control. Okay, so we want to be able to kill Gwen. I think that it's not going to have much removal, but it could have Quietus. So I'm going to drop Guiding Touch. I'll keep these other three because Rune Squire has a chance at giving us a plus two plus O for Samira, and that could have us kill Gwen. Or Ballista. Ballista works too. Okay. Pass. I'm gonna start with um if he has quietus, we don't want to play Samir right now. I'm gonna start with just Saga Seeker. Come out from your shadows, demon. I think with that, we'll actually just good. do Blade Square. And then we'll put a Blista on the Saga Seeker. Push 6. They'll probably block the 4 2. If not, cool. Okay, kills the equipment. Unfortunate, but it's better that than on a Samira. Um. We'll just swing with the two one now, because he would he would probably block this. Maybe not. But we can get a free kill on it with some air anyways. Is that all you got? Yeah. Now we're guaranteed to get the quick attack one. I mean the plus two plus zero. We can actually make a plate of exile if we need to. Okay. Well. Sure. That's another spell that can't kill some air. I'm gonna play some air here. Don't ask for permission or for he has another quietus, so be it. Halberd. That's a big dog. Big dog. Okay. Not sure how we kill that. I think we will still do this though. Good steel and a good future. Cause I don't think he, he won't play Gwen here if he has her. Or Rain. He's probably got at least one of them in hand. Okay, cool. Um, so let's do this. Challenger Samira. Plus two plus O. Oh, Saga Seeker. And then... Drag like this. Deal five. Great. Uh, then I'll play Blade Squire to block one of these. Perfect. So Samir's at four. Definitely can level her up as long as he doesn't open with a removal spell. Okay. Might have Cataclysm. Kind of mana for it at least. So if he were to play Cataclysm, we would want to make sure we can level some unit like earlier. Um, I think I'll put Ballista onto Saga Seeker so that we can kill the Watchdog. We're losing her, but she's level, so. Better than nothing. Okay. We're getting too much, which is relieving. Um, okay. So, we will put a Saga Seeker down, I think. The blocker, just in case. We are running out of fuel here, but we can put. We can keep him alive. Probably. Are you the one? Um, we can do this. I've got the reins. Carry your own gear. 
is we want to put the Blade of Exile on Rune Squire so he can drag Gwen. Gwen's going to be at 5. Uh. Hmm. No, maybe we just can't do that. I've got the reins. Might just have to do this. Carry your own gear. Yeah. Unfortunate, but that's how it has to go. Let's drag into Watchdog. Wolf dog. No matter their resolve, mine will be stronger. That one health on that coin could be a problem. Okay. And now there's a chance that we find uh, plus two. Right? Or maybe it will give us plus two. No. It might be that it'll only give us quick attack. No. No, that's good. Could use that later. Um, so let's give you quick attack. Um. And a roll. Then play of exile. One, two. Squire. Damn, okay, that the needle. Well. This is we can still attack. He does not get scout from that. Um, Alright, we swing for seven, I guess. He got scout. He got scout. Well. He's... Okay. This could get really, really iffy. I don't. Think that Hush is going to. Okay, wait, it's not reviving. So we've got. He's probably Watchdog, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, behold the Infinite, we could find removal. I think that's what we need to do because Hush won't, won't ta stop the scout. So we could find obliterate two two units, and then we would just be fine. Could we win the blessing of Targon? Probably not. I think he's pushing too much damage. So send it. Or kill it would be kill one unit. Obliterate unit. Okay. Perfect. That's a great great pull. Gwen's dead. Uh, he, if he puts Scout on Dancers, so, so she isn't dead, she's obliterated, which is great. Uh, right. So Dancers will not revive. Oh, it's him. It's even better. Um, I think we keep him around. Sorry. I think we're fine with four here. That's everything. He's out of reach to me. So let's get this mirror. There's a chance we can rally? Probably not, but it's still- Oh, actually, the chance just happened. We got Guiding Touch. Alright, uh, Dark and Ballista. Here. And then I think we should just be fine because we get to Flare. And it's exact use. Yeah, nice. Cool. Getting that obliterate was crucial. Oh, too easy. I don't know what other cards could have let us out there. Maybe like a big unit, but. <laughs> Yumi Pan. It's like. Slower version of this deck. Less interesting, in my opinion. Um, okay. So he's gonna have a really big unit. Hush won't work on Yumi, I don't think. Or like it would work on the stats, but not not you mean. Let's do Blade Squire and a Ballista. This is the only equipment running in this deck. 
So we want to keep it around when we find it. Um, do we want to street? Yeah, let's just do two free damage. We can play Ballista on Blade Squire next round. Just want to make sure we're targeting frequently. I'll show the hunters. We might be able to just outpace him. That card is what makes this deck really interesting. Because we have access to that card and then we're putting Blade Fragments on it. So we get to keep on spending the Blade Fragments. Okay, um, I think we're just going to do this. Yep. Okay. He's already at 12. It's like he might have a Pale Cascade. Wouldn't want to give him priority. Or the deck. That is also a problem if we had not sworn. Let's just do. I don't think we're gonna target this round. Let's do Rune Squire. No more mud for me. No way. Alright. We're gonna take four. At least. Cam four. So we wanna make sure that we have him leveled up by round seven. I'll totally block that still. Not sure. To serve the greater good. I've got the reins. Perfect. Back to the mountain. Okay, we have a full blade. Um, I'm gonna put Ballista on you. Grant us okay. your guidance. We have need of you. Great. So we can give him a quick attack, I guess. I want to. I get. Oh, Samira. Awesome. That's a really good top deck. Don't ask for I'm gonna play Samira. You definitely level her. Single combat could be annoying. Uh, Alright, let's make this one the temporary stats. You get that. Um, we'll give Samira the plus two plus zero, and you'll get quick attack. Give Samira challenger. Or do we hold up? Hmm. Hard call. I think we're just gonna give this one the blade of exile. No, he's a permanent quick attack overwhelm. Plus two plus so. Let me just do this. This is safer. I'd rather Samira not die. Um, we can just deal one to Nexus instead. And he's very low. Okay. You have single combat. Um, Pell Cascade. Yep. I'd rather him have Pell Cascade though than. Yeah, do single combat. Form up. Got all the spells to stop it. Good news though is that our Samir is definitely level. Him living on lifesteal is potentially a reason that we should have kept up Pale Cascade. But it's okay, I think we're gonna do some rally stuff. So, is there a way we can save her? That quick. Actually, yeah, we can do. Um, mm. Blessing of Targon would not do it, actually. Ush would not touch the Fixum. Yeah, I think we're just losing Sumir. Okay. Just gonna deal with Nexus then. We might be able to just pull through with Overwhelm on Camp 4. Don't hold anything back. I won't! Uh, yeah, I don't see how long it lets me live here, so. Let's play Sacrificial Scholar. We will lose our Blade Squire. Cool. 
Got them in front. Is that all you got? That's another card we've been playing on camp for. And then we need a target to get uh, camp for leveled. So let's do. Let's do. Uh, do this because we're not using this overworld play factor at all. So that's camp for level. I think. So if we drag Sacrificial Scholar, we need 10. We need 10 damage to the way. We might not be able to do it. I'm gonna be just, just barely off. But I think I'd rather kill Divine Clerk, actually. And have him be forced to block with his Sacrificial Scholar. That's that's on my clerk, maybe. So he wants life steal. Wait, does that just let us win now? Did man did man screw up? Because we can put Ballista and then Pell Cascade and drag Shepard instead. If he doesn't have healing, then he's exactly dead. We're gonna try it. I think it'll work. He's already used a form up. He's already used a pale cascade. Definitely could have more. If we can get him down to one. Still feels good. Oof. Okay. Still. Okay, so if we do this. I say we go like that. We get to play Pale Cascade on our Sacrificial Scholar now, if he dies. Okay. Blessing the Targon on his own. Yeah, we could let Campfo live. That's probably better, considering this guy's dying no matter what. Yeah. Okay. This is good. Now we can do one more attack with Camp 4 and hopefully push enough damage at the end. So, oh wow, second camp four. That's really nice. Pantheon's not nice. We have Hush though, so should be okay. As long as there's no spell shield. Don't jinx it, come on. Okay, no spell shield, great. Let's play Blade Squire. So we can block Divine Clerk with Blade Squire. Yes, okay. Silence. Zip. Okay, we lose our camp form, but we have another, so we're fine. Okay. I've got the reins. Got a big handful of equipment. Uh, I don't think he can save Panther because of Camp 4 Spell Shield. Camp for sacrificial scholar. We'll do scholar first, and then we can see. Okay, we're gonna kill that <laughs> with camp four. It's got a lot of big units, so we're having trouble pushing the last bit of damage. It's got a lot of healing too. This deck is definitely a little beefy because of the Demacia. All right, we can put plus two plus zero. Oh. And yeah, okay. Plus two, plus zero. Overwhelm, and then we're gonna put a copy. 
Oh, wait. Oh, we're not getting Bedwex up. For some reason, I thought we were getting Bedwex up. That's still okay. Let's do, uh... Let's put Ballista. We know now. Counting's hard. Wow. What? Wait. Why? How does that explain to me? Hush. But like that doesn't work. Equip. Oh, he doesn't know equipment gets doesn't get sounds. Oh, brother. That. <laughs> All right. He'll never forget. He'll never forget that. Bum bum ba bum. Oh, Jace Cannon. I've seen this deck. It's really cool. It's like, instead of Jinx, you're just copying uh, Shock Blast. It's still aggro, though. Um, so we need to mulligan accordingly for that, which this hand is anything but aggro. We want, we want units. Samira's. Yes. Awesome. Um, if he doesn't play a unit, I won't play a unit. Say that. Okay, he plays Yuna. So we play Yuna. The whole. Uh, it's just. The whole targeting thing is just out the window when you're against Aggro. Just can't do it. I'm trying to target everyone. Um, sure, it's fine. Your attack does nothing. Great. Um, I'll pass again. Play no units, sure. Um, let's just do Saga Seeker, see if we can get something out of him so we can kill it. Nice, okay. Um, now, I'd rather not lose Samira right now. Because this probably has like Mystic Shot or something, or an Electro Harpoon, so we'll play... Squire. He'll spend a spell on it. Okay, that means he has a mystic shot. So, we will just plain drag here. Oh, no mystic shot. Okay. Sure, I'll kill cannon. Like, it's not ideal, because we would rather had a cannon, but now we can play our spells on two sacrificial scholar instead. We have targeted no rounds. A little behind schedule here. Okay. Um, can we block this? Is there a world that we can block this? Yeah, actually. Um, sack. Oh, no, there's not sack, because that'd be f seven mana. Okay. So we're taking five, five now. Let's do Scholar. Maybe he will attack for some reason. I have main deck blessing of Targon. I don't even think that's in standard anymore. <laughs> okay. Then smooth. Alright. Uh, let's go. Runesquire. I think we will play Runesquire, because that gives us Blade of Exile. We could also just hold up this, though. Might be better. Actually, we can't even, we cannot swing into this otherwise, so we do have to do this. We're kind of forced to. We might not have a Mystic Shot. Based on how he's playing earlier. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> I just realized we can level some up. That's great. And then we can get around a Mystic Shot. So we give Samira plus two plus oh. Uh, give this one overwhelm. And quick attack. Just because then we get those spells back when he dies. We do uh, challenger Samira. 
and then play Blade of Exile on Samira. Then we can kill Dunhopper Mech and Samira levels out of Mystic Shot Range. Just when you thought you'd seen Great. It all. Blade Fragments in Samira. Insane. He could. He has to have. I don't even think. No, Blowback is 4 mana, so he can't stop this. We get to kill Dunhopper Mech. We are not going to touch the Arena Promoter, though. Uh, yeah. Because... Because just no. <laughs> I don't want to trade units for no reason for a little bit of damage when we're just trying to survive here. Awesome. That was a great... That was a great turn. All of our targeting this game was done in that one turn. Epic Scrap Trap Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> I think we can hush that and it becomes a 1-1. One, one. Yep. Perfect. Uh, let's throw Ballista onto you. Yeah. So you can block Arena Promoter. Hush Scrap Trap. This, in a ten this card in a Tentacles and, the and Scrap Trap is anything that has just grown from a 1-1 one, one stats. It's so good. Backspike. Hush. Three. I think we can rally as well. Because Samira's striking. You're dying and giving us blade fragments. Nice. Okay. So then we go double flare. Damage. Damage, and then let's just give you quick attack for the reason. Then we swing for seven. Nice. Just getting the blade fragments back from Sacrificial Scholar. Yeah, it's just so punishing for him. It's like if you you can technically do it so that you put all three blade fragments onto your Sacrificial Scholar. You have a Blade of Exile that you can put on like a Samira. Then he dies. Then you throw those other three Blade Fragments on something else. Get another Blade of Exile. It's just a nice combo. It's a theoretical, but still. It could happen and it would suck if it did happen. So this is Fearsome's, I think. Like Shadow Isle's Fearsome Control. So... I don't know, honestly. I think we're just gonna go for a one drop in hand along with Samira. Two Samiras? Sure. One of them will probably die to Aquitus. So. Right. Let's do Saka Seeker. Ballista. Maybe we can get Aquitus out of him. Hmm. That was suspicious. That was like a very I have quietus type action. Um, like, I think Samira is just dying if we play her. To death I go. Um, let's do this. Onward. Then we'll cycle a ballista after combat. Like, I don't really care about the plus one. I'd rather just guarantee getting damage through. That's fine. Not guarantee, I guess, but still. Can okay, we get our targeting? Having two of the blisters in hand for leveling, doing like pants stuff is great. Quiet is true. Yep. Okay. Sure. Me. He might only have one. Oh, Pelka's good. Now we can play Samir safely. Cross by enemy support. It's a 1 4. Not great. Wait, or no, 2 4. So I guess it's 1 4 at base. No, he's frostbitten once. So that counts as one of the frostbites. Ooh, we could be greedy here. So how would he stop that? 
not, so it would have to be Brittle Steel. I think we'll gamble on him not having Brittle Steel because he would have used it on this uh, Saga Seeker earlier. So unless it was a top deck Brittle Steel. That's plus two plus one, yeah, that's what I say. The card is lying to me. If it is not giving me plus two plus one. And like, the Frostbite Punish here wouldn't even be that bad because Samir's still alive. Cool. Very nice. And then I think we just throw a Ballista onto you. Cannot level Samir this round, but that's okay. We'll just go for our 8 damage. Yeah. Then, uh... You might have double Frostbite card. He does have double Frostbite card. Sad. Uh, we'll still do Pell Cascade, though. Saga Seeker. Panther's almost leveled. Play Saga Seeker. Get many utilization. Does not have Aquitus, because he would have killed Samira. Okay. I think we'll improvise onto Samira. Oh, nice. Scout Samira is the best ever. Quiet. What is it? Train. Wow. Bye, Samir. Um. Yeah, I think that's. I think we just take that. Unfortunately, put Scout onto this Saga Seeker, make him huge instead. Right. Uh, we could also do Scout Panth though. Scout Panth is so good. I want to do Scout Panth. We're just going to pass here. Burn some mana. Scout Panth could just win us the game right here. Donation, though. Let's do this. Let's do Rune Squire first. If he passes, then we just attack. Oh my god. I think he totally has Ruination. <laughs> Alright, uh, so let's do... Let's do 12. I'm, I'm fine with that, honestly. Okay. Totally has Renation. Yeah. Called it. Perfect. That was a good play then. Because if we didn't get Spell Shield on in the camp, that would have been very punishing for us. Um, let me just play Pantheon. I think we should have dropped a quick attack fragment onto one of our faded units so that Pantheon would be getting an extra keyword and would have pushed an extra damage without burning one mana here. Okay, let's put let's scout on this. Okay. So he's got Overwhelm, Tough, Impact, Brash, Challenger, Fury, Faded, Scout. That's a lot of keywords. Vengeance. Ooh. Right, right, right. Could be like, what's it? Shatter or something? But fine if he has that. Peace is a trail painted with blood. And we have blood. Take five. It's fine. Uh, plus one. Yeah. Let's heal, I think. Potentially giving up a burst speed target, but I think that's okay. okay. Probably has some sort of frostbite. Alright, let's do a scout attack first. Um, do it like this. He frostbites here, we have plus three. Plus three. Hmm. 
Okay. Like that. Actually, if we go like that, then he'll just frostbite. Let's do this. Because then he has to frostbite Saga Seeker. If he has to double frostbite, we still just put uh, Blessing of Targon. Frostbite. So let's go Targon Pantheon. Alright, actually, it was probably incorrect to do that. Probably should have just been Pantheon, because then the Fierce Wielder would have still been doing damage. Yeah, so that was wrong, but... Maybe he has another Frostbite, and it wouldn't have mattered anyway. What? <laughs> what? Man, I think you just killed yourself. I'm not gonna lie. I think you just accepted death. Oh, never mind. Um, if we do this, he goes down to one, but we lose a pantheon in hand, so that's probably not good. I think we'll just we'll just accept it. Keep a panther around. He's at three. All right, Ash. Avarosa, guide me. Okay, Ash. So yeah, the if we had done blessing of Targon, uh, actually that played. Yeah, it didn't matter what we did. That's uh, right. But it was still correct to do it the other way. Let's just pass. See what he does. This will do. Yep. We will block Ash. Probably throw another Frostbite card out. Okay. And I think I'll just take that, but first let's just heal to see what we can find. Light Squire? Okay. Cool. Um. Oh, we can play Naga Naga Neka. So this will kill Ash. Wow. Okay. He must have a lot of frostbite in hand if he's willing to do that now. I'm cold, I'm hungry, and there's rocks in the Um this time we're gonna actually put quick attack on Pantheon. Do not forget to do that. Um, crystal arrow. Just put quick attack on him. Scout swing first, and just go for us. Just do it. This, because if he has frostbite, we don't want him to take as much damage. Just do that. I'll steal. Okay, that's game. Perfect. Yeah, he could have saved that frostbite that he had in hand for our Pantheon instead of Naganaka, but I think he was dead anyway, given that Naganaka's overwhelmed. 